Hi, this is Rhonda Kay, native Florida folk artist, even if I live in Washington for part of the year. That simply makes me bi-coastal, which is, by the way, an excellent thing. This is my website. Some of you might not have seen it. You can get here by going to rhondak.art. Art is R-H-O-N-D-A-K dot A-R-T. Now, I currently am selling most of my things on Etsy, sometimes in person, and you can also reach out to me. So, rhondak.art looks like this. This, of course, is my little banner. I have maybe only one of these mermaids left, and uh, I have a new batch that I need to put up here. To be honest, this page is almost always out of date. Very sad, by the way. But, um, so if you're saying, hey, Rhonda, send me some new stuff, I will do that because sometimes this lags a little bit. Um, so I want to talk to you about some of the things that I have for sale today. I'm going to go through two lines of them. So first of all, I have this multi-piece um, sunflower. As you can see, it has some ragged edges. I think I have some holes. There's some lines across here that I think are interesting. As you may note, I use multiple colors when I do my sunflowers. Usually when I'm working on them, I'm doing a whole bunch of them. And uh, I use all sorts of weird techniques, including, um, you may not have learned this unless you go to art school, but it's called finger painting. Ah, yeah, no, no. Anyway, so you can see it's, each section is kind of different, and I've put it together. And this is a very, very uh, lightweight piece. So um, I personally love it to death, but I also currently have sort of a companion one that looks like it. And um, let's be honest, I love this one a little bit better. Um, when I love something a little bit better, this invariably means that it has some damage. So you see this one's got something happening here, over here, something happened there. This to me is like the most gorgeous thing ever. Um, I don't know how to explain that to you, but this hooky hook had these. This is a knot hole that fell out. This is a knot hole that wasn't close to the edge, so it is an actual hole. This is sheared downwards. And you can see when I paint this, ideally what happens is, um, again, I use several paint styles. Some of it, you have to go to art school to learn, such as um, letting it dry. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're laughing with me because, you know, sometimes art is that funny. But anyway, so um, I'm a great fan of dry back brushing and other acts of insanity. In fact, when I'm painting, I never use water on my brushes. You may or may not know that. If you see me live painting, you know this to be true. I never clean my brushes unless I'm working with white lettering. That is the only condition in which I will clean my brushes. So let's look at the next thing. So those two are beautiful. They are the same price. There's only one plus, yes, they're one of a kind. I should make some similar ones, but they're not going to be quite the same. Here's something that I believe is what? Uh, sort of a classic and a Ronda K saying. Sometimes the Ronda K sayings have been, let's just say, leaked into the public and used without my knowledge. Um, I am not a rich person. It breaks my heart. But there's only so many things I can forget. Uh, there's only so many things I can do. Forget actually isn't one of them. I wish it was, by the way. Wouldn't it be awesome? Anyway, so seize the day. You'll see this everywhere. But you know what you'll see it? Mostly on things that are white or light blue or light brown or tan. And it doesn't come with this full color smashorama, which you'll notice is really part of my signature. What I do some um, bell things, but you know what happens to this? It's going to look like this for a few years. And this and this and this will become lighter colors. So it's a sign they'll have many phases throughout the years. Um, I almost always use white lettering and not really fancy lettering because I like my stuff to be something that can be used outside. And as it decays, changes, is damaged, that it can live those things. Also, when you use just white lettering and you take pictures or you're in different lights from candlelight to no light to bright light, the white always shows up. That's right. This means, I hope you understand, I've lived with my paintings and I'm painting to the places I've learned. This is going to be seven inches across. It's going to be one inch wide. It's going to arrive on a knot and I tie many knots. I love knots, but I will also, should you ask it, hang it on a wire and or see that or nothing. Those None of those things will result in extra charges. Uh, this is, of course, the background is a mermaid that I love always. 
and I'm just showing you what the back of the piece looks like. Anyway, uh, it's really a joyful piece. And if you've noticed, I like to do a joyful piece, um, a fishing piece, a spiritual piece, and a joy piece. I try to mix them up, if you know what I mean. Because in a way, that's my everyday. Now this saying, I absolutely did not come up with. This is a classic. This actually usually sells quite well. And I love it. I have multiple colors. It's very lightweight. Let me show you the picture here for sideways. You'll see it's very thin, so it's not going to rip your uh, drywall out or whatever you hang it on. It's going to be something you can enjoy to hang. Now it's like, hey, Ron, there's a hurricane coming. You might want to take it down or nail it to the wall. It's up to you. I'm not sure what your circumstances are, but this sign can handle most of them. Uh, I'm just going to go down here for a second and... This is something I um, send out mostly. Yes, you can look at my shop reviews. Uh, I have 123 of them. And most people like me. There's a couple of people that were really mad I didn't get something done on time. However, I try not to be that person, and it shows. Most of the time, I am awesomely close to or before time. And if not, I certainly do talk to you about it. Um, so let's go do something else. I think I need to retake the picture of that one because you know what? I did not put all of the words in it. It's not with me right now, so I can't fix it. All right, this is a choose joy, keep swimming, open heart, live life. Very simple, uh, bright colors. You turn it sideways. This is going to be one of the ones that's a little bit heavier. It's a one inch, I think it's seven and a half by 24 inch. So it is large, it is colorful, and it is a conversation piece. This is what I'll tell you about this piece. When people see it in your home, there's something about this that will answer them. In a way, I think of Tiki Bar signs as a sort of tarot cards. They find their people. And to somebody, maybe even you, this is going to mean a great deal. And you can see I do a couple of different types of this. And these would all look great on your wall if you wanted to pick them all up. If you do, you know, let me know. Because uh, if you buy more than one, I can probably reprice some things for you. So then the next thing I want to show you is something new. It's small and it's kind of spiky. You see that little thing going across the end. But um, my, like many of you, I think uh, I've struggled with the pandemic. A great deal I really have and you're sitting there I believe perhaps thinking oh Rhonda K I have to so this is my attempt to try to refocus because as you know attention is what your reality is so if you have a to-do list that's a love unconditionally love while you're out there seeing people in the grocery uh, line or whatever let them go first help people put things in their car Ask people if they need you. If you do all of these things, it's going to help you out. We, we can get through this kind of isolation and sadness because if we set our to-do list to, before all the millions of other things that capture us, unconditional love, looking for a chance to love, and trying to use love to measure a situation, it's going to help us out a great deal. It's going to be a great medicine, in fact. And I'm going to end with something. Actually, this is sold. I probably have something like it. So kind of let me go through my list. Da da da. Hey, I actually have this one. Something like it. Uh, I don't paint these every day. And sometimes I paint them on small things or huge things and things like that. But these are my beach bums. These are bikini clad women because everybody is a bikini body. And we're all sizes and we love putting on our bikinis and jumping in the water because it is so much happiness and freedom. And you feel in touch with the waves, the sand, the world, and all the love I think we deserve in our lives. And I put on my beach bums a big butt. I'll confess here, I have a lot of hips, but I don't really have a big butt. So these girls have more than I'm packing. But the one on the end here, this one, is probably most me if I had a delicious big butt. Um, because she's seeing the ocean and she's going, oh yes, thank you, I am finally home. So 
I do these, and sometimes these are actual women I know. And I've had actually one person who recognized herself. And I thought that was cute because it was so her. She was drinking a bottle of wine or something walking the sea with her long hair swaying. But I do change hair colors and hairstyles. And um, I put these up as I do them. When I do them, I try to do about five or six at a time. So currently, I think I only have one. So like this probably is a girl, honestly, I saw in South Beach. And I was like, why can I not walk that model like down the beach and this is just watching a mother and her daughter get into the waves and like going in there together like two awesome mermaids against the powerful world of tides and storms and all of that and she is teaching her right now right then that's right keep swimming keep swimming so this ends my talk on a couple of pieces of things that you could find in my shop at rondak.org. And thank you for listening.